guys, welcome back, Clanks here. In this YouTube tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to install plugins into your Minecraft server. Now, in this video, there could be multiple phases. Since YouTube has added the timeline feature or the chapters down below, if you guys need to skip down, I properly label down the timeline below. So feel free to skip some parts of the video if you guys already did that. So I'm going to show you guys how to install FileZilla if needed. The reason why we use FileZilla and some issues you can have on your Multicraft panel whenever you upload plugins. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so guys, here's me. I'm in my Minecraft server currently. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to F5 and I'm going to do slash plugins. As you see right now, I have zero plugins installed on my server, but I really want to install a plugin on here. Now, going with that, I'm going to show you guys how to install a plugin. So first thing you want to do is you want to identify what kind of plugin you want to have. So I'm going to go to our Chrome browser right now and see if I can find a plugin. Alright guys, so I just navigated to Google and I just typed in 1.15.2 plugins for Spigot. Alright, but I want to be more specific. I want to try a specific plugin, so let's do World Guard. Alright, so right here, dev.bucket.org, projects, World Guard files. I'm going to click this here because it does support 1.15.2. Now, you do need to make sure that the file is compatible. So as you see right here, it says 1.14.4 to version 1.15.2. You have to make sure that it is compatible. All right. Now, if you guys want to look for any files in the past, I do click the files tab here. And you can see all the versions of the file you need. See version 1.13.2 goes to 1.14. See 1.13, 1.14. The list of versions here for you guys. But we're going to download this one here. So all you're going to do is you can click the download. And you're going to save it to your desktop. Perfect. Now we did the first part of the video and we downloaded our jar. Next thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go to our multicraft panel and get our FTP details. All right. As stated before, there are two ways you can upload a Minecraft plugin onto the server. Now you can do it on the multicraft panel, files, FTP file access. Then you would log in. And after that, you click the upload button. Upload to directory, you would click list. Read the main is we want to upload this to our plugins folder. So we navigate down plugins. And you hit choose. Then after that, files, so you choose a file. Navigate to the file. And click open. Then after that, you're going to hit submit. And the file should upload. And file is OK, has been transferred using FTP binary, that means the file has went through. Now you can hit back, you can go back to the main server, so you can click the main server title. As you see right here, the server jar is installed. Then I can restart or reload the server. Personally, I like to reload it since it's just one plugin. So as you see here in the console, cannot load plugins world guard slash bucket 7.0.2 jar and world plugins is missing world edits. As you see here, org plugin bucket unknown dependency exception, that means it is missing a plugin and it needs world edit in order to work. Now this was one of the ways you couldn't do it. If, let's say we had world edit installed, then this would have booted up. So I'm going to do this in the background real quick to give you a good example. You see how it's four megabytes right here? Wait for it to finish. Again, one more time. Go to the main console, so you click title, files, FTP file access. Put your password and login. Then you can go to plugins, upload. Now, you guys saw how I just navigate straight to plugins. It automatically fills it in. But let's say you're at the root folder. The root folder is going to be the main folder. As soon as you log in, this is the root folder. So, upload. See, whenever it says a slash here, that's the root folder. So what we're going to do, 
again, list, or you can type in plugins, but we're going to do this way for now. Plugins, double click, choose, choose file, look for world edit, open, and submit. All right, file is okay, and has been transferred. Now, sometimes your Minecraft host and your web server may have a file limit. As you see here, these are the restrictions. Um, so right here, net 2 FTP by 30 megabytes and PHP by 30 megabits. Now, if your file is bigger than this, the web server is going to decline it and your panel may freeze. Now, this is where I'm going to show you guys the alternative on how to install it with FileZilla or an FTP client. Let's say you do have slow internet and the file is about 20, 28 megabytes, but you have like 3 kilobit per second internet speed. God, I hope you don't, but anyways. So let's say you take longer than 60 seconds to upload the file, then it will just automatically get rid of it. So, file's been uploaded, we're gonna hit back. And we could go back to the main console. So DA tests, so you're gonna hit the title, console, reload, reload, confirm. Now, as you see, World Guard actually booted up and World Edit's up. So now, if we go back to Minecraft server, reload complete. Now, slash slash wand, and if we do slash plugins, World Edit and World Guard are on there. Perfect. Now, you can use the plugin any way you want. And that's it. Now, I'm going to show you guys the next method on how to do this. So let's say you are again not a baller and you don't have files installed. install, don't worry, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go google.com and you're gonna search for filezilla. And you click the first one. You're not gonna do source source forge, you do filezilla project.org. Alright? I like to use filezilla because it's really really easy to use. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna download the filezilla client, not filezilla server. You're not doing this, it's a big no-no. So you're going to um, download FileZilla Client, and just for you guys, I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to paste it down in the link below. Done. Alright, then you're going to just do regular FileZilla. Alright, so you're going to open FileZilla, the setup software. You would agree. And you'll continue this up by here. I'll just click it. I'll click out of it and let you know when I finish. So usually you'll just go through all the steps. Um, decline any um, little advertisements they do. So decline. Congratulations, you, know, you have now FileZilla installed. Perfect, now you're a baller like me. All right, so next thing you wanna do is you wanna grab your FTP details, and I'm gonna go through that next. All right, to grab your FTP details, what you're gonna do is you're gonna to navigate to your multigraph panel. You're here, the main dashboard. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to files on the left-hand side. Then you're gonna to go to FTP file access. Now all the information you need is gonna be right here, right in front of you. So the FTP address is going to be the IP here. Usually you may have a number or text IP. So you're going to copy and paste it in here. All right. Usernames can be your um, panel username with a dot. And it'll be the server ID. The server ID in this um, panel is going to be 2683. Each server on the panel has a unique ID. So I'm going to paste it here. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the password. So the password, multi password, that's going to be your same panel password. So you're going to put that in. After that, you do quick connect. All right, so I'm gonna make this a little smaller. And as you can see, we are logged into the server, logged in, and directory listing of root successful. As you can see, same thing here, we are logged in as root. All right, so now you're logged in. What you're gonna do is you're gonna click the minus, 
You get your two files here. You can just select them over with the mouse by clicking and dragging over them with the box. Then you click and drag them all the way over to the plugins folder and let go here with copy or you can double click the plugins folder, select them and drag and drop is here as well. As you see, they're uploading and they've been sent through. After that, you would reload here. So I'll do reload. What? Be a little complete. And as you can see, everything still works. Perfect. Alright guys, so I'm going to give you a little tip on how to make files a little easier for you guys to use. Kind of how troubling it could be at times. So what you do is you're going to click the open the site manager. You're not going to click a drop down. You're going to click the actual, um, the actual picture here. Then after that, you guys can create a new site. So you're going to name the site um, the server you're working on. So for this example, I'm going to do tutorial server. Now I'm going to wait and give you guys a little bit of time to actually do this yourself. Alrighty, so protocol, just normal FTP, host, is gonna be the address, you're gonna copy this, paste it here. Port is gonna be 21 as normal. So username is gonna be the username. So FTP username, you're gonna copy and paste. Password is gonna be your multi password. After that, you're gonna click OK, not connect, you're gonna hit OK. Reason being now, this has actually saved this on your computer. So now, every time you want to uh, modify your FTP in your server, you literally do not have to type the information in every single time. All you have to do is click the drop down here and click tutorial server, and it should lock you in right here. Perfect. All right, guys, I hope this video helped you in some shape, way, or form. So in today's video, we learned how to install a Minecraft plugin into a Spigot server. We were able to start the plugins. We're able to figure out what kind of dependencies, if a plugin does not start, you're able to debug it by yourself. We were able to install a plugin with the web panel, and we were able to install a plugin with the FileZilla client, as well as showing you guys how to install the FileZilla client. Now, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, that can be left down in the comment section below. Whenever I'm free, I'll try to help you guys out, if possible, to make my videos better. Um, again, any feedback would be appreciated. That helps my channel down the long range. Like if you liked the video, dislike if you disliked the video. And as always, thank you guys for watching my video, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.